Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the potentiometer. So prior to putting it on, 3D printed parts have a, a top side and a bottom side. The bottom side is where it sits on the bed, and then the top side prints out the, uh, the plastic. The bottom side is going to have a texture. As you can see, this is a textured side here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, and, and where it sits on the bed, when it puts down that first layer of plastic, it tends to spread out just a little bit. So we get a little bit of a, just a little bit of a, a ridge on it. So we're going we're gonna to just take, and we're going to use a razor blade, I'm going to just lightly trim out that little ridge that's on there. It's, it doesn't take much. There's really no pressure at all there. And I'm going to take that ridge size and I'm going to put it onto the potentiometer. We're using the shorter potentiometer here, um, the, the one that's been cut down to fit in this space. We're just going to put that sucker on there. We're going to, we want to make sure it fits. All right, so we're, we're good. Okay, so there we got that on there. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make sure the potentiometer is all the way at its zero position. So, um, what we want to do is I want to take and I want to spin it. I want to spin it clockwise to the point where you're facing it, right? So I have it turned all the way in. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to push it through this hole here on the side of the side of the base. And then I got to I got to put it through the nut. I'm going to have to feed it through the nut here. Like that. And then the fun part here is that I'm going to get the texture side facing towards the gear. Reach in there and I'm going to take the gear and I'm going to put the gear on the teeth of the of the pivot. And I want to make sure that the that the slot on the on the gear matches up with the slot on the oh boy, one tooth off. One moment, please. So I need to put one more down. And pop that sucker in there. And it's gonna fit on just like that. Okay? All right, so we have the gear in there. Then what I want to do is I want to take and take that nut and I'm going to spin it down onto the threads that we have here. And it's pretty simple. I mean, I'm just going to I'm just going to get it down on there, get it started like that, and then snug it up. Keep in mind it's just you know it's plastic and um, you know we don't have to over tighten the pop metal and the plastic. So I'm going to get that secured in there. Okay. You notice here, I, I'm a little close here to the wall. So I'm just going to take and push in the, hold the back side here. And I'm just going to push the gear in a little bit. So now that we're off the wall there. And then I'm going to watch the action. All right. So we look good, pretty good there. Okay. So the next step we're going to do is going to be our first soldering step on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and solder these three wires to our connection there. Be right back.